we it was a long couple of days and we had been it was like the sun a long the, couple of days meaning you did a lot well we did a lot you yeah. loved them yeah like we went on a boat we went to this like other really cool beach on the french side because there's a french side and a dutch side of this island and why are you looking weird? Why are you furring your room? No, I mean, I guess so. Okay. I believe you. Okay, I'm just saying there, there, there is. There's two different. Yeah, there's two okay. sides. Right. And then we. Which side do you prefer? Um, the French side is Racist. a little bit more. No. Mmm, <laughs> so satisfying. And my hair like this, and then I have to put it behind my ears and take my sweater off as <laughs> I get angrier at you. Yeah, yeah. By the end, that's how you know there's been an experience. By yeah. the end of it all, I'm always sweating. You're a different person. So much. Sweat. But that's the thing about uh, satisfying, is that I feel like for us and for the listeners, I hope. Yeah. You're a different person. Yes. Walking in than than you are walking. Out, right. Like you, you know? go into a restaurant, you're hungry, you're excited, you sit down, you have a great meal. Yeah. Great company, great drinks, great atmosphere, and then you leave and you're like, damn, that was good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I felt real good. I went to a. Well, first of all, I mean, I just felt real good for being a social individual. Yeah. But, uh, you know, my wife and I went out with uh, some friends. Mm -hmm. We went to this Mexican place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and first of all, I can't believe that you went out with some friends. I'm really. <laughs> yep. Tribal Slow. chief. Yep. Tribal yeah. chief. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty, pretty clutch. Yeah. We, you know, we exchanged uh, stories, talked similar interests. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caught up you. on what was going on, things like that. You're evolving. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How was the Mexican food? Well, the Mexican food was good. Um, I felt uh, respected and seen by the wait staff. Why? Because I just thought it was, I thought it was like- Can I have the children's chicken cheese quesadilla? First of all, I don't sound anything <laughs> like that. One of the worst impressions I've ever Sorry, heard. Sorry, my bad. It's really, it wasn't- I don't care. I'm not offended. It was just not a good impression. <laughs> okay. All right. What <laughs> I mean, I don't care. Okay, no, it's fine. It's totally fine. It's not like a big deal. I'm like, not, I'm like, in on the I'm joke. angry at you. <laughs> Wait, what did you order? The chicken tacos. Okay. That's you know? Cool. Okay. Did you say, like, you didn't want any of the fixins? Well, I, no, I don't mind the fixins, but I did, I did ask for no avocado salsa. Okay, that's fine. I, and I think that's fine. Yeah. And when you start going, like, no cilantro, yeah, no, no onions, onions. No, yeah. no, no. We're not doing that. No, there's an authenticity that I think it deserves to be maintained. Wow. However, I think we can preserve the authenticity while still removing the avocado salsa. Okay. You see? Um, but, I, you know, they're street tacos. Yeah, I love a street taco. So I was about to order, like, three orders of two. Meaning you get like six tacos. Six. That's a lot of tacos. And I was like, what do you think I should get? Like three? And the lady was like, no. she was like, just get two and then see. And I said, okay. And two orders was enough. But I was like, you could have had, you could have gotten me to get she three. She could have won, like upsold you. Yeah. And then not only does that money for the restaurant, but for her, for her, she gets a kick up on the percentage for the tip. So did you make it up in the tip? No, I didn't tip her at all. Oh, yes, you <laughs> yeah. did. Also, I like I love how you. It's either that you don't dine out that much, mm -hmm. but the or just you were really hungry. Mm -hmm. Like that's a lot of tacos you're asking for. Wait, I mean, but this, uh, the taco sizing can fluctuate so I much. Guess, I guess. I guess. But also, I would rather like order, and then I always say we can then we can get more. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I, yeah. I, no. No. You're right. You're not wrong. Three, I'd be like, okay, big boy, that's like very The Rock of you. Well, I wanted people to think it was The Rock's cheat meal. Right. You know, oh, how does he get so big and yeah. strong? Oh, it must be these big, yeah, mm. protein-infused cheat meals. Protein powder! <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't need any more after no. the two because she said they're very stuffed. Okay. Said, okay, that's a good tidbit. Good yeah. tidbit of information. And yeah. they were, and they were delicious. But then, you know, we got home, and my son was like, he goes, where'd you guys order from? Or where'd you guys where'd you guys go for food? I was like, oh, we went to this great uh, Mexican place, you know, this Mexican restaurant. He was like, oh, what did you get? I was like, oh, I got tacos. He's like, oh, cool, cool. Would mom get a burrito? What does that mean? And I go, like, he's I don't clear. know why that sounds. It sounds well, judgy because yeah, he's going somewhere. I'm like, I was like, no, she got like a vegan thing. He was like, like what kind of thing? Like a like a vegan burrito? And I was like. Well, I guess they're like they were like wraps or something. So I guess they were like burritos. And he goes, "Oh, cool." After she ate the burrito, did she have to go to the bathroom and drop a fat nuke? <laughs> What's wrong with our our sons? A fat nuke. Like what? <laughs> What's wrong with uh, he? Was, and he was kept trying to lead you. You kept right. just like answering like. Just very matter of factly, and he no, was like, "Come on, I need to make this joke." Burrito, right? Burrito, laying I, it up here. I guess it was a burrito. Yeah, it makes you drop a fat nuke, huh? Wow, did you get a good a good laugh? I out thought of that? it was really funny. Not, 
as funny, but we uh, FaceTimed the kids when we were in St. Martin last week, and we just, like, were on the balcony and showing them the ocean. And, and Keaton goes, oh, look, now they got to flex on us and hung up. Hung that's, up. that's so sick. We were flexing on you. A hundred percent. Sorry, we're here and you're not. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, it was, yeah. Oh, he's the best. I, uh... I would love to sit in on a conversation like your son and my son just like sitting without the parents there and like what the conversation back and forth is. Are they talking like that to each other? Skibbity toilet Ohio. Yeah, I, right. My son trust. lost his trust. Ugh. Trust. Trust. It's so annoying. My son lost his mind the other day when he found out Ohio was a real place. He didn't know it was a state. No, because he thought because he's been saying, you know, like Ohio Riz. He just thought it was like a word. And then when he found out not only is it a real place, but I've been there, he was like, You've been to actual oh, Ohio? Ohio? That is so <laughs> <laughs> that is what is it? What word would he use? So so skibbity? Yeah, that is skibbity riz. Technoblade. Oh, what's technoblade? It's just somebody who can like kill you with a one hitter. Okay. You know? Or a nuke. <laughs> well, fat nuke. I mean, there you could kill somebody with a fat nuke. <laughs> right. That's for sure. Especially after a burrito. It could be rough. It could be rough. Yeah. I also so you know whoop that trick is like a sports chant now? Nope. Okay, you know or you know whoop that trick from from the I know, movie. Whoop, there it is. That's about all I know. <laughs> whoop, there it is. What else do you know? Oh. Why are you joining me? You always join when one of us starts. A I song. can't do tag team. Oh, okay, okay. I can't be sitting here in twenty twenty four singing along to tag right, team. What were you? What were you referring to? Well, you know, it comes from a uh, uh, hustle and flow. Okay. Pimp and trick right, yeah, and I know. whoop that trick. Yeah. And then it became this like uh, uh, slang, I think, in basketball. But then there's this wrestler named Trick Williams. Mm -hmm. And his whole thing is the crowd chants, whoop that trick. Or whoop, whoop that. There it is. Oh, <laughs> God, it hurts. Why are you acting like that wasn't amazing back in the day? And they don't still I use mean, it. I mean, because it's so far back in okay, the day. Okay, but they still, like, I feel like at sporting events still will play that. They, there's no way out. they still play whoop, there it is. It's not whoop. It 100% is whoop. There's an M in there? It's a hundred percent whoop. Nope. Look it up. Google that. Whoop. Whoop. It's, there it is. It's whoop. It, what's what is a whoop? It's whoop. There it is. What's a whoop? Whoop. 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 No. It's whoop. No, you're so wrong. No one says whoop. What's a whoop? Tag team did. Oh no. I've been saying it wrong the whole time. Whoop. There it oh, is. I'm... No, if you're wrong, I will. I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> I'll oh my God! It's auto completing. Whoop! There it is. Oh. Lyrics. Of course. Oh no. I mean, whoop! There it. Whoop! There. All right. I was wrong. It's not the worst thing I've ever done before. Is mistake I'll that. Put it right on the Satistron. The Satistron is firing up. Whoop! Who knew? Everyone. No. Everyone knew. Not me. But don't you feel it's like... It's literally called whoop. Okay, but don't you feel like people use the whoop? Whoop, there it is. Okay. Whoop, there it is. Like, okay, whoop, I see. I understand. You, you, know, you know who says whoop? It was like... Losers. Not only is this so old... No. Losers say it. Not only is this so crazy old that you cannot make references to it anymore. What? It's a crazy thing. But like... Oh, it's 1992. Yeah, dude. It's like so okay. old. But like whoop, there it is. It's like what your parents would have said, and you're already right. too old. Right. It's like, Sorry. whoop, there it is, is like a 70-year-old okay, trying to be cool. first of all, how often do you, like, if you say- And you can't even reference whoop, there it is, without being, I mean- I sound like just by singing that, that was bad. Mid to late 40s. I don't know if I care that much, to be honest. All right. But listen to me. How often, like, do you whoop. see- Whoop! Shut up! How often do you see whoop as opposed to as opposed to whoop? Like you, I've written to you before, like like said something that oh we're gonna meet here and I'm excited. And I'll write whoop whoop. I don't That's, write I don't write whoop whoop because whoop whoop is something totally different. Whoop whoop is what the insane clown posse say. Whoop whoop. Oh, I'm so confused. Let's yeah, just, let's just move on. No, <laughs> whoop whoop is the juggalos. Why? Who's the? Why are you so angry at me? This is an aggressive conversation. Because we've been in a fight all day. I feel like. <laughs> about nothing. Nothing. Whoop! I can't believe you didn't know it was whoop. Wait, 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 now we know. I was wrong. I guarantee you've misspoken a lyric or a title Not to whoop, a song. There it is. <laughs> I mean, I can't even. That's like saying um, "Nice Ice Baby." Remember that song? Oh, shush! Everyone knows it's Ice Ice. He was Everybody Vanilla knows. Ice. So that one is that. Then everybody knows this whoop. There it is. Okay. Everybody knows that. Well, now I know. And whoop whoop is what the juggalos say. It's a greeting. Whoop whoop. 
Okay. Also, it's a celebration. Whoop, whoop. Of course, because every day okay. is a celebration when you're a juggalo. Right. Or me. Do you know what a juggalo is? Nope. He's not a phony. Oh. He'll bust a nut in your macaroni. What's a gigolo? <laughs> no, a gigolo. And juggalo are two different things. A gigolo is like a pimp. No, a gigolo or... is like a male prostitute. Okay, I think. so he so a gigolo has a pimp, just like a like a prostitute would have a pimp. I think sometimes gigolos can pimp themselves. Okay. But I then... know they can pimp their rides. Okay. <laughs> but a juggalo. A juggalo is this... an, a disciple of the insane clown posse. Okay, that's like their fan base. The juggalos. They're like the Swifties, they're the juggalos. Yeah. Just trying to understand. Sorry, it was not an insane clown posse. Fan. That's okay, as long as you can grow to have mad clown love. Yeah, I've got mad clown love you now. You do? Yeah, I'm feeling it. I love the Insane Clown Posse. I don't like that thing right there, that clown. I don't want to look this at him. This is not a member of the Insane Clown Posse. This is I art. mean, he could be. Look at him. Well, look, I mean... Me no like that. <laughs> I mean, I have... The first second I walked down here, I was like, why? Why? He is an insane clown. Yes. So, so if he had a posse, I suppose... And if he had a posse, they would also be equally as effed up and and de, de, perverted and weird and what? i i hate this i hate him i hate the movie i hate what it's about i hate that you like it i hate that a lot of people liked it i'm angry in general <laughs> glad i had that vacation why are you so mad at a fictional character just, we talked about this a little bit last time i just don't understand how people could want to watch something so horrific even though it's fake and do you feel like Maybe you're coming to terms with the fact that you're I'm, on the outside looking in. This no. is the number one movie in America. That's okay. where I got the souvenir cup from. I understand. Great souvenir. <laughs> that makes me want to go see it. That there's souvenir oh. cups? Well, no. Just looking at him, I'm like, ooh, I want to know what he's about. What's Christmas horror movie? And I bet, I'll bet because it made so much money. It's Terrifier 3. It made so much money opening weekend. Like the Terrifier 2 was an insane success because it made $16 million. Yeah. And it was never even supposed to be like a theatrical right. release. This made over 18 opening weekend. Okay. But how many people would you say are in, on this planet? Do we know around? Billions, right? Yeah. Is this a worldwide release or only in the US? Of course it's a global release. So global release. So 18, 18 million, million domestic. Is a very- Domestic. Okay, fine. But in this country, how many people are there? I don't know why I think you're going to automatically know these numbers, but I feel like you do. Over a million people. Sam Roberts, last professional broadcaster. It is way more than 18 million people. So that is a very- Well, movie tickets, last I checked, are not $1. No, but- what So I'm... it's 18 million people going to the movie would not equate to $18 million. Okay, but all I'm saying is that there's a lot of people that are on the outside like me. There are people that are in my posse. Man, They're my can juggalos. Can you imagine taking pride in like- I don't want anything to do with the number one movie. You used no. to be all about the hot guys. I'm all the four one one. I'm still what's like, going on? Like, is it scary for you to go like I was wrong on Kendrick? No, I was wrong I'm on not Terrifier. Wrong. It's an opinion. Why can't we have different opinions? Agree to disagree. You said anybody that sees a movie is sick. Okay, that's not an opinion. I think you're sick. That's my opinion. I'm agree, not sick. Agree to disagree. And it's the number one movie in the country. A little bit. Really? A little bit. I think you're a lovely man, and yeah. I adore you, but yeah. I think you are you have to be a little bit sick mm -hmm. to enjoy something like that. I think you have to be sick to hang out with some of the people you hang I, out with. I, then that's fine. That's your opinion. Okay. Agree to disagree. Okay. Look at that. We can live happily ever <laughs> Just after Just easy now. like that, huh? Really? Were you surprised that Terrifier was the number one movie? Um, Were you, are you dismayed? Uh, no. I mean, but how, what other movies are in there, in, like out in theaters right now? Well, I think so. I like think... my kids went to go see the, the wild robot thing. That's for kids. Whatever. Yeah, but that was the number two. Right? Okay, what else? But I, I think that the idea, everybody thought that the Joker Folio yeah. Dio was- Oh, look at how you said that. That was easy for me. You're fancy. Thank you. I think everybody thought yes. that Folio Dio would be- uh, would, I, I just got nervous because my, my, my DP wasn't there. Nice. Gotta have my DP. I, uh, yeah, I think, they, I think they thought that that was going to be like number one movie for a while. Like the first Joker came out. And it disappointed a lot. The, yeah, Folio Dio. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first Joker came out and it was- yeah, number one movie forever. Like it made yeah. hundreds of millions of dollars. Everybody right. went to see it and everything. And then this movie came out mm -hmm. and everybody immediately said it was terrible. Right. I haven't heard one person be like, no, it was actually kind of good. Not right. one person. I haven't heard anyone say that either. And oh, wait, maybe one. Who? Just like a, a friend of mine that you don't know. I want to meet this person. I have so many friends. <laughs> you do have a lot of friends. Um, Too many. No, but they're into like weird. Art like, house stuff? No, just like. Left of center, like a little off types of cinematography and TV shows and movies. 
It's like the most mainstream movie ever. It's Joker. No, it's not mainstream. Joker? Not this one, not Fale Adieu. Well, they wanted it to be mainstream. Well, Lady not. Gaga's literally the star. What do you I mean know, not mainstream? But the way that they made it was like not what people wanted. It was a little weird, a little too weird. Yeah, they uh everybody hated it. I haven't seen it. I would like to I think I'm going to. I think we should. You wanna see it together? I'll see it with you. Date? Yeah. Nice. You buying? You putting out? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> nice. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Come on. High five. Yeah. So steal today. <laughs> Everyone's happy. Everybody wins. Um Yeah, so I think but I think that they thought that like that was gonna take basically October. Okay. And so most of the studios were cautious about, well, let's make sure this is gonna take October. Right. Let's figure out what our Thanksgiving movie is, our holiday mm -hmm. movie is, but the rest because this Halloween season, there's like two scary movies coming out. There's this right. and then Smile Two. Right. And I think that's kind of, I think that's kind of it. Right. So now they're like, wow, well, there's way more sociopaths than we thought. In this that's, not, that's, <laughs> not, that's not what the, that's not what it comes down to. That's not it. That's just how I feel. Right. Right. Well, and you haven't seen it. So you're just blindly judging, I was which told, is not a toxic trait at all. I was told oh, really? by many people, and I would hope as my friend, you many, would say. Many people many told me. record amounts. <laughs> I was told, and I would hope that you would have done the same thing, that you know that I would not like this. And you find Didn't I say that? Or did I say you should definitely go see it? I think you should definitely go see <laughs> no, it. Maybe you I said, say be, that. Because you like that I would be scared and mortif not mortified, wrong, terrified. Because that's what the movie is. Well, uh, scared. Scarred. 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 Yeah. Scurred and scarred. Yes, and traumatized. Traumatized is a good word, yeah. Okay. No, this isn't your cup of tea, and that's fine. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a, but, okay, 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 this is what I was thinking. Okay. okay yeah, I, I get excited when ideas okay. pop back in oh, my head. I forget okay. to write them down. There they are. I think they're lost forever, then they come back. That's I go, I hello, old friend. Hey, forgot to put you in my little notebook. Have you seen Blink twice? No. Okay, this might be, because people were getting on my case going, you can't, they don't understand that I was just doing it to torture you. They're like, you can't have Nicole's intro to horror be Terrifier 3. Right. That's ridiculous. Fair. You I didn't make my, I went to go see it. I went alone. I'm not saying, hey, like it wasn't even a question. Hey, Jess, would you like to go to the movies yes, with me? It was. Thing. I'm going alone. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This wouldn't make sense otherwise. But I mean, your your intro, I've seen horror movies before, but your intro was Saw 10. That's how you wanted me to see what you like. I might have also been trying to torture you again. Yeah, well, that's what you find. Reintroduction, I should say. Ah, uh, reintroduction. You watch the old movies and then you quit. Yes. I feel like you quit on me. Yeah. And I, wait, I want you to be in, opinion, in a state of mind where you don't know how, I wish you knew how to quit them. Right. You know? I got you. But you did not see Blink twice? No. You might like this one. Okay. This is directed and I think written as well by Zoe Kravitz. Okay. Right? Oh, yes. I know of this. Channing Tatum is the yes, star. Yes, yes. And it, it deals, I mean, I think you'll like it because it's on a nice tropical vacation island. But like crazy stuff happens. And it starts to deal with power dynamic. Okay. And the sort of uh, very much stories that you hear about in the news with the powerful celebrities, the Diddy type mm. stories, where it's like, there are horrible things that happen that happen and have been happening and nobody says anything because there's power right. and there's money there's fake apologies on the internet gotcha. there's, and and it kind of unweaves itself in a really cool way it's one of those movies that like i watched right and i was like oh i think that was i, I yeah i like that thriller 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 there's some like ooh scenes and stuff but okay. more thriller than anything else okay. i think uh, Haley Joel Osment is in it. Oh. Love that. I love the adult. He sees dead people. He, well, that was when he was a child. He looks so different, obviously, because he's older. I just much prefer little Haley. We well, can't keep him young forever. I want to. Yeah, I know you do. Okay. I know you do. Have you seen his uh, impression of J.D. Vance? No, is it He good? did it for Kimmel. It's really funny. Is it? Yeah, it's really funny because he puts eye eyeliner on yeah. and then he does look like. Do we think he actually wears eyeliner? I think so. Okay, because you might just have very nah. bolden eyes. Like no. the Costco guys? Yeah, just like them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. So okay. th and the fact that it's kind of told from the perspective, like the filmmaker is Zoe Kravitz. Like yes. It's a young woman yes. who makes it. I might be able to relate to some of the stuff a little more. Yeah, and it's a little more. My speed? I don't want to say palatable, but it's more palatable. like like a. Like, Terrifier does not seem like it's palatable no, to me. No, and, and I, I don't think I it would I would throw it up the second it touched my mouth. I would have fun seeing that movie with you because you would be in such pain. Okay. I think I would think it would be funny. Okay. But there's no planet that you would enjoy it on. Okay, good. Right. Thank you for That's admitting that. Thank you. That's the truth. Thank you so much. Well, I think maybe mm -hmm. 
Blink Twice is one to look into okay. for you. All right, I'll check it out. Because I think you'd like the story. I think you'd like the setting. Lots of beautiful people. You I love, love, you beautiful, love people. beautiful people. Yeah. You know, and don't I, you? You don't need, you can, you can take them or leave them? Honestly, like when I realize a show or a movie has beautiful people in it to distract from the fact that there's not that much going on in this show or movie, right. I get really irritated. Right. Like the content is like, eh, but the people, like the, the people are, are so beautiful. Right. There's a genre of, like beautiful white people with problems, but they're not really that bad. Okay. And I hate that genre so much. I got much. you. Okay. And it's very popular right now. Yeah. You know, it is it's super popular. People love those shows and they win awards. And I go, this is just beautiful white people that have problems, but they're not that bad. Okay. Is that what you felt about the, like the perfect, uh, the perfect couple? What's the like perfect you couple? Didn't, I don't uh, know anything about you it. You know, with Nicole Kidman and Liev Shriver, the one on Netflix. I didn't watch it because it's it, it, like the like trailer that. was like like that, like beautiful people, and you didn't love the. Yeah, they're too beautiful. Yeah, they're too beautiful. Don't you like to be around other beautiful people? I don't think I beautiful people don't hang out with me. We're we're both beautiful. Oh oh, beautiful people only hang out with me. Yeah, once a week. Oh, <laughs> Just putting on the charm. <laughs> I just I, I but what I feel like there's a little bit of like young Sam, like middle school or high school Sam that is speaking right now. Fuck all the beautiful people. <laughs> I don't know if I'm no, not seeing that. I mean, they're too I, beautiful. I like. I'm, I'm I enjoy the aesthetically pleasing. Right. I like that. Yeah. But when I realize that it's like, oh, this is dumb stuff. It's just the people are beautiful. I go, oh, this is like eating gruel. Like like. Gruel. Yeah. Prison Mike. Gruel. Wait, so it's sort of like Katy Perry, because when she was in and I interviewed her and she was in the bathroom, you were saying you felt like she looked so hot because the album wasn't that great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, hey, look how high. And she, 100%. I think she would right. tell you this. Like, I don't know if she'd say the album wasn't that great, but I think she would tell you, like, look, people have lost faith in right. Katy Perry's music. I don't think that's yeah. even controversial to say yes. anymore. No. Ever since she was Swish Swish Bish oh, with the God. Yin Yang, uh, no, with a. Uh, Bish, Not Yin Yang Twins. I'm going back to your old school stuff. <laughs> Real old school. Yeah, with uh, 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 with the Migos on SNL. Oh yes. And it was, and then she had Backpack Kid on with her too. It yeah. was bad. Yeah. It was bad. Right. Ever since then, it's right. been like it's over for you but musically. She looks really good right now. Right. Aesthetically, very pleasing. I mean, she showed up. She's like, "What if I did the interview naked? Sort of without a bra or no bra? underwear on? Yeah, I was Just epic." Yeah, just like not, just hanging out. Yeah, ready for to, for anybody to suckle on the mother teeth. Just and, and I, right there. And I saw her that day, and I was like, I'm so glad she's doing well. She's yeah, back. Right. She's back. You did not turn your head. You looked and you enjoyed uh -huh. the aesthetically pleasing. Right, right. But I'm not going like here. But yeah, okay. But I'm not going. Man, that's a good album. Okay. Because I'm aware of what I'm. Okay. What I'm. What's right. attracting me to this? She's pretty. The album not so pretty. Oh, yeah, I'm not even listening to okay. that album. Yeah, yeah, I'm not interested. I'll, I'll look at this person. Okay. She's amazing. Yeah. But so so when the, that transfers over to movies and television. Right. It annoys you. Where I go, yeah, I can acknowledge, but you're saying this is, not you, but yeah. one is saying yes. this is a good show. Right. I'm like, no, it's not a good show. It's like what they're you... covering it up with the pretty people. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like they're taking advantage of the dumb. That's me. I wasn't going to say it. Well, that's what I felt happening you were directing it right at me but pretending you weren't you watch all those shows i do <laughs> never gonna stop never gonna change maybe. and you should yeah well i mean i did see speaking of a uh, beautiful tropical locales i did see that you were on vacation yourself yes we you went know. away with some friends yes to st martin oh yeah radio friends not just any friends yes. your radio friends yes your professional friends yes and do it was you is there anything uh I get we have an interesting job because it's not like a yeah. job job. Right. So I feel like going away with friends from work is still fun. Like it's not like you're bringing yeah. work with you. We're like just being still... silly and yeah, having yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, you know, drinking and eating and being merry and being crazy. You don't mean alcohol. There was definitely some alcohol <laughs> floating around. I'm going to let you know. <laughs> there there was a lot of things. And. <laughs> <laughs> and like there enough said. So many things. But there was one, the last night, I've been dying to tell you this story. One of our friends, mm. we, it was a long couple days. And we had been, it was like the sun. A long the, couple days meaning you did a lot. Well, we did a lot. You yeah. loved them. Yeah, like we went on a boat. We went to this like other really cool beach on the French side because there's a French side and a Dutch side of this island. And 
Why are you looking weird? Why are you furring your brow? No, I mean, I guess so. Okay. I believe you. Okay, I'm just saying there, there, there is. There's two different. Yeah, there's two okay. sides. Right. And then we. Which side do you prefer? Um, the French side is Racist. a little bit more. No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. No. Um, okay. No. Anyways, so it was a long, like, couple days, and it was so fun. And you're exhausted, and after drinking all day, by the nighttime, you are done. The sun, sure. sand. It's been zapped out. It's of you. just yeah. So. Maybe an edible or two had been taken. You gotta amp it. Right. Gotta amp it. Let's go out the bang. Right. And one of my friends took a whole one after we said, don't take the whole thing. Mm, it's too strong. Too strong. Way too strong. And so we're sitting there and there's a lot going on and there's like a lot of different buildings. And he goes, he's like, I gotta go down and get some water. Like, I need some water. And we're like, okay. And someone goes, you want me to come with you? No. He's gone for what seems like forever. And it felt like maybe like an hour later he comes back. He busts in Kramer style and was like, what? You guys didn't see me? And we were like, what? <laughs> so our friend Ryan goes down, gets the water, then gets a little bit turned around because I think the edible kicked in and was having trouble and then found himself in another hotel room. What? That someone was having a large party. He's just in the hotel room? And he just busted in and was like, it was like record scratch. He said, he said, hey, I think my friends are across the way. Do you mind if I come out on your balcony and wave to them? What's that going to do? And this was like a party. <laughs> like a deep, like people were raging. And they looked at him like he was crazy. And they came out with him and he's waving and no one's waving back. <laughs> <laughs> but also like, what's that going to, what's I, the... Hello, like, hey, come back. That's what we said. We literally like your Forrest Gump waving to Lieutenant Dan on the boat. Lieutenant like, Dan. That's literally what we were picturing. And we're like, what? Like you just went into someone's like like a lot of people. He said that there was like like fifty people in there, and he bust in. But also, nobody waves. Nobody's waving back. No. So they were like, who is this crazy? And they were like not like they were just not our vibe. It was a different vibe. Harder? And a little harder. Okay, and a lot of people. You were, had a small group? Yes, we had a small group. Mm. So he bust in, and then literally they're looking at him, and then he's waving. They think this man is, like, on acid. Yeah. And then we were like, what? So we were like, he was like, I was right there. I'm right there. You don't see me? <laughs> and he's waving to nobody. And, we, and then he got up. He was like, I think I got to go. Yeah, that feels like when you're in that hotel room. Yeah. And like you're waving, and there's nobody there waving back, and you turn around. Mm -hmm. It's like that scene in Training Day. You seen Training Day? Uh, a long time ago. It's like that scene in Training Day when Ethan Hawke like looks out the window and he sees Denzel driving away. Yeah. And he's like, yes, oh, yes. No. Oh no. Like he turns around and looks at the party, and they are all just looking at it. Oh no. It was like that. I'm in a bad place. I need to go. How did I get here? How'd I need I to go. Here? And I don't think once he waved and then looked to get out, I don't think the party people took too kindly to that. And he was like, thanks, guys. Bye. Gotta go. But, like, obviously, like, the next day, it's like, why did I do that? Like, why did I just walk in there and do that? And what was the best case scenario? Uh, yeah, that we, that we waved. They you waved back? They still wouldn't have been right. See, there they are. But it made it worse that he was waving at nothing because then he just looked like a crazy person. 100% worse. So, yeah. So, it was a great time. <laughs> it ended like that, which was a little bit weird. You didn't see me? <laughs> That's what he did. He was so confused. And I was like, what is happening? Yeah, that party was, he walked into a hard party. Did he come to reality, like, the next day and go? Yeah, the first text we got. Uh, yeah, the next morning we got a text. I survived, guys. Uh. Yeah. But we had a great, great, great time. We snorkeled. You snorkeled? I snorkeled. I got to see... Um, some sea turtles and some stingrays. Have you ever been snorkeling? No. I think you'd like it. Maybe I have. Maybe when we went to Hawaii, I snorkeled. How do you not remember snorkeling? You either you went or you didn't. I feel like it's you possible. You feel like it? Well, I th I don't know if I've... Because I feel the sensation and kind of remember looking underwater with a mask on. But, like, okay. it doesn't necessarily mean it was, like, you, snorkeling, you, snorkeling. You might have dreamed it. Or it could have been in a pool. Yeah. You know? Could have. I don't That's know. not really snorkeling so yeah. much. That's just going into a community pool with goggles. Yeah. One of those things, though. And then another friend that we were there with, we went, to, so there's a lot of casinos there. Nice. And we walked in and they were all playing craps. And he was having trouble. You throw the dice down. Have you ever played craps? Yes, yeah, sure. He basically was pitching the dice. They never um. landed on the table once. He did it like seven times. We were like, everyone in here is going to kill you we were a mess but it was yeah. so fun yeah was he 
messing up the die, die throwing because he was intoxicated or because he's never done this before? I think both. Okay. Okay. I think both. So intoxicated and then choosing then is the yeah. time to go. First time for this. Yeah. And then his wife was like, try to get it on the table. And he kept like, he was like, I can't. And then he got, I can't, I can't do it. He got scared and he just went like a little. And uh, like it didn't make it even down to the end of the Just table. go over to the slot machine. <laughs> Just go over to the slot machine. Yeah. Man, I mean, blackjack's an easier yeah, game. Yeah, you gotta stick with blackjack. I feel like craps and roulette are although, just dumb. Although, if you screw up blackjack at the table, yeah. the everybody else at the table get furious with you. Yeah, like if you don't your know, moves, you know, affect their moves. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe just slots. I'm a horrible gambler. Slots. I never do that. Horrible gambler in the sense that you go overboard. I don't. Or... I don't know what I'm doing, and I just, yeah, and I'm just like I just literally sit down to lose money, so it's pointless. Right. How, where'd all my money go? Right. Matt did that. He was like, we went in. And I was like, let's get out of here. He was like, I just lost two hundred bucks, and I was like, well, that was a waste. Let's go. <laughs> what the fuck? So annoying. Does he gamble on football? Yeah. Yeah. Every time. Did it's... you have you been gambling a lot? Uh, not like a lot, a lot, but yeah, it's but fun. It makes it more interesting. It's super fun. It's such it's such a thrill. It's such an adrenaline wash. And then you get an adrenaline wash. Adrenaline wash. <laughs> and then you get so pissed at these teams. Yeah, and the and specific players for messing up like yeah. a pass or a tackle. Yeah. Are you like screaming at the television yet? Are we there? I have screamed at the television when there's money on the line. Yes. Okay. Yes. Sort of like you told me, Elvis shot his his television. I haven't shot a television. Okay. Yeah, Elvis shot a television when he saw another. You've been on there? disrespectful. I mean, wait, wait, look before we get into. Okay, sorry. You had a good time on your tropical vacation. An amazing time. How many days were you there for? Uh, four. Four. It's a lot. Did we get a lot? Did we get a lot of rest as well, or was it a mess? No, we got. I got rest. Yeah. We um we had some fuckies. We. Did I'm the, so glad. I was, <laughs> okay, let me check. Cross that question off the list. Um. Yeah. Okay, we good. ate great food. You still have those at home too, right? The fuckies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not as frequent because the kids are around, and this is like a free for all when they are not around. But so, how many over yeah, the course of four days would you say? I maybe five. Nice. I was really nice. Uh, not all of them were my choice. Oh, per se. Right. Right. But it's like still welcomed. Yeah, maybe yeah. one wasn't because I was like, I'm still sleeping. Sure. Hello. Sure. Sure. I actually got a little. Hey, hey, are you awake? And I was God. like, yes, I'm just, can just get it over. <laughs> I was so tired. Like, like you can, but I just. I just needed one more. Like I needed like a half hour more of sleep. Sure. He was not. And you're going to rob me of that half hour. Yeah, you did. You're going to rob me of at least 20 a seconds. Third of the, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, 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 no. yeah. Um, no, but yes, we had, we had a great time. That's fantastic. It was a great, great time. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. I do feel like you've been disrespectful to Elvis today and I'm not a hundred percent sure why. I, because I've been following Riley Keough, who is Lisa Marie Presley's daughter. And Riley Keough? Riley Keough is. Okay. And Lisa Marie Presley is Priscilla Presley's daughter. She is since also gone. Also Elvis's. She's... And also Elvis's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. So it's Elvis and Priscilla's daughter, Lisa Marie. Elvis who, had something to do with it. Who has passed think. away, and she had started a book before Rest he... in peace. Yes, rest in peace, girl. Before... Priscilla was in The Naked Gun. That's the most random fact. You like the naked gun? Yeah, so was O.J. Simpson. He was. He was great in the <laughs> He was really good. I mean, all things considered. Yeah, <laughs> just saying. He's great in the movie. He was. Um, Rest in peace to O.J. He, he's alive. O.J. died. He did? He died. Oh, don't let me be the one to break this to you. <laughs> I'm like, so sorry. I, for some reason, thought he was still... Nicole. He's dead? O.J.'s no longer with us. Rotten hell. What? Sorry. He won the Heisman Trophy. I don't care. Hurts he, commercial. He's a murderer. Oh, that, yeah, 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 yeah. That. I always forget that thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But by the way, only fiscally responsible for the oh murder. He God. didn't have, he was not guilty criminal. Right. I mean, okay, let's so, all respect that. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so Lisa Marie had a book she was working on before she died. And she was horrible with the drugs. She said before she died, she literally was taking 80 like pills a day. She was an opioid addict, like her father. And Elvis, the way he went out wasn't ideal. He was on a toilet. No. He but... was fat Elvis at that point. He was sweating. He was bad in his addiction. He had 10 pounds of crap still in his body because he was so constipated. It was a mess. That's how much it was? I think that they said that they found like 8 to 10 pounds of excrement. Is that yeah. another word excrement, for Excrement, feces, 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 fecal matter. Fecal matter, yeah. fecal material. Yeah, in him. And like, that's gross. That's not a way to go out. That's not like the Elvis we all knew and loved. 
That's well, not being disrespectful. That's stating facts. No, but to really like highlight the fecal matter when he lives such a rich life. Yeah. In a relatively short amount of time. Yeah. Is is unbecoming. It's okay. not nice. Okay. And also Fat Elvis like ruled. He didn't rule. Hard. Old Elvis. The beginning of Elvis when he first started gyrating. Okay. <clears throat> Look, that Elvis is good. It goes like this. Yeah. It goes. I mean, 68 comeback special Elvis. That's leather jumpsuit Elvis. Yes. That's after he comes back from the army Elvis. Yes. That might be peak Elvis. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I mean, it might go fat Elvis, 68 Elvis, OG Elvis. Like You like fat Elvis a lot. Because. He looked gross. He wasn't attractive. I wouldn't have been into him. But the, Well, I'm sorry <laughs> that you would. But by the way, you still would have spent the night with the king. Not that much excrement and stuff inside well, of him. Well, he didn't know. What if it actually didn't, accidentally came out while we were doing All it? All of it? Oof. <laughs> Be shin deep. What if I was? <laughs> what if I was the one to cause his bowels to relax enough for it to all come out? Then you would have saved us a I, legend. Probably he might not have died. No, probably not. Right? I mean, it couldn't have helped that all that was backed up yeah. in there. I mean, I think he died of like a heart attack or something. He did, but I'm sure it's bad for your heart to have all, all the, that. That's I, ten pounds of extra weight. It's a too. lot. Don't forget. Lush. Like even though he's fat, like he could have lost ten pounds. Right, just by sleeping with me. Just like that. You have that effect on that? Apparently. <laughs> Cause you to shit your brains out. Yeah, I can't tell you how many skid marks I've oh. left behind, my man. So, um. I don't know. He just seemed really sad at the end. He looked sad. He looked not his best. I think it is a sad story in yeah. the sense that he had people around him. Yeah. That kept him on drugs that he shouldn't have. It's not dissimilar to Michael Jackson. Yes. Who had bad people, bad actors. Yes. And bad doctors. Around him. Okay, but he still was the one that Dr. was like- Dr. Conrad Murray. Get them for, yeah. Ooh, he was rough. Bad doctor. Give me my milk. Right. I want my milk. Right. Do you Put, think it, give him propofol every single night. Was he calling it milk, though? He Because he loved innocence. He <sighs> thought he was Peter Pan. He loved child, child's yeah. terms yeah. for all milk. this stuff. Give me my warm milk. Warm milk to help me go to sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Lionel. 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 Look at my snake. <laughs> my monkey. <laughs> He's like, Michael, oh. I'm here, I'm here to yeah, report a song. Yeah. I'm not here for the petting zoo, Michael. No, I mean, I, I, it's it's and it's similar. I mean, it's a similar story to Michael Jackson. That, like, you have these bad people around you. Yeah. That they sort of... I, I would imagine when you're that big yeah. of a music star. Yeah. Because there is a difference between music stars and, like, other celebrities because yeah. people connect with musicians yeah. so deeply and it's you it's not a character you're playing it's yeah. like you you are singing to my soul correct and when more people in the world do that than to anyone else it's got to like the the amount of pressure right that is on you at all times has got to be insane and i i don't think like the, there was Elvis and then there was Michael and the same thing happened to both of them. Yeah, but it's like you, what happens is then you have all these people because become, you become the machine and you're part of the machine and then you get these people to be yes people because Leeches. they need you to do well or do what you're doing so then they can make money. So if you need these drugs to get on stage, then we're going to give you these drugs. Instead of somebody being there being like, no, we're going to get you off drugs. But then they don't get paid. Because they can't get you on stage. Correct. I mean, they were saying that like, I think in that Boz Lerman movie about yeah. Elvis, that like Colonel Parker, his manager. That's what his name was? That's a great. Well, he was this German guy who wanted everybody to think he was like American Pie USA. Okay. So he called himself Colonel Parker. Okay. And he was Elvis' his manager, but he signed Elvis to this exclusive deal with this casino in Vegas. Mm -hmm. But he also happened to have an incredible gambling debt. At this casino. So he was trying to. And they to... said it was like, well, hey, if you just let me keep playing and relieve my debt, you can have the king for a, resi they... for a residency. And they were like, done. Like, because of him, yeah. Elvis never toured globally. He right. wouldn't let him go because he had like felonies or something and he couldn't tour, he couldn't right. leave the country. Hmm. So you have all these people around you and then they're doping you up. Yeah. You find doctors. Yeah. That'll be like, no, 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 this is what you need. This will help you. And it's not like today. It was so long ago. So, like, people weren't as aware. Like, you go into a doctor now, it's, like, hit or miss. You might get a doctor that's, like, one of those shady ones that's, like, yeah, I'll write this prescription. Or some people that are, like, you're clearly an addict. Unless you find, I mean, and also, I would imagine when you're in that state. Yeah. You're looking for the guy that's going to be like, no, I think you'll be fine. It's, I mean, there are athletes that do that, right? Kurt Angle, who we talked about last week, when he was going for his Olympic gold medal. Mm-hmm. He broke his neck in the Olympic qualifier, yeah. and 
there was a doctor who I'm not even, I, this could have been a good doctor. I yeah. didn't, not necessarily a bad doctor, but this doctor said, look, he understood Kurt's desire to compete for this gold medal and the fact that he probably would not get another opportunity because it's the Olympics every four years. And he said that we can, here's what we can do. Yeah. You can't train mm. for the next whatever it was, six weeks. Yeah. You go to the Olympics, your neck is not going to be 100%, but we'll give you, uh, we'll have a doctor there that gives you 11 shots of Novocaine. Sounds smart. Before each Good for your neck. match. Yeah. And then, Bust you know. Bust your neck, but get the gold medal. And so you'll still, you'll, you'll be able to compete as if you were fine, but you're going to be in excruciating pain. And he did it. When you're done. Yeah. And he's like, okay. And I'm sure that like Elvis, Michael Jackson, yeah. it's like, look, I know this doctor is saying this, but trust me, yeah. they're trying to sell you on this or that. I can give you this. We'll get you on stage. Yeah. Right? So. I just, I, I don't know. I feel like. But, I, but the reason I love Fat Elvis. Yes. Okay. Is because this guy, yeah. right? He gains all this weight. Yeah. And as he gains all this weight, he goes, you know what I need to do? And they go, what? He goes, wear jumpsuits. <laughs> Yes, and they're like, and of good, course you should start wearing jumpsuits. Of course, that's going to be the new look, right? With right, big gold big, aviators, big aviators. He was like, I should just let my big, hair grow. Bigger shops, this big. I should do this, right? And they were like, Yeah, yeah, okay. And he was like, I know, I know. He was like, I know, I get it. And they go, Okay, good. And he goes, I need a cape. <laughs> and they, <laughs> and they go, Yeah. And he goes, and then I'll do karate moves on stage. And they go, perfect. Done, done and done. done. And this guy who is way overweight, yeah. wearing a jumpsuit with a cape, yeah. a rhinestone jumpsuit with a cape, with overgrown hair and mutton chops, yeah. is still a sex symbol. And yes. he's going to these shows. Yes. And he's performing. And women are still throwing their underpants at him. Right. That's so badass. Yeah. I, I understand what you're saying. Like, I wish I could get to a place in life where it's like, I'm, no, I'm not working out. I'm right. eating whatever I want. Look like garbage. I'm going to wear a costume. Like, I'm going to just wear the dumbest thing I can I'm think of. I'm going to wear a mask yeah. and a cape. Yeah, and a cape. And flippers. Yeah. And, just... and the, uh, what is it going to say on the back of the cape in rhinestones? Can you write the king? Yep. Yeah. And do you think that he ever thought, like, do you think, like, Elvis, who is now no longer with us, like, looks and is like... Rest in peace. Look, rest in peace, dude. The, how many impersonators there are of him. Like, you can be any size and be an Elvis impersonator. Different Elvis. There's different eras. Yeah. It's like Taylor. The eras tour. Right. Imagine it's, Elvis doing the eras tour. Oh, my God, he'd be amazing. I mean, he kind of always did the era. Like, yeah. he did the hits every time. Yeah, he was smart with that. Yeah. But he was not smart about taking so many drugs that he was constipated and had 8 to 10 pounds of fecal matter shoved in his intestines. Okay, well, you're acting like you never make bad decisions. I've made horrible decisions. On the reg. I mean, more consistently than I would like, but <laughs> I I sometimes learn from them. And I'm very regular. Your so bowel movements? I don't, I don't want to hear about that. I don't have to worry about- I don't, I don't want to hear about your bowel movements. Eating, disgusting. Eating peanut butter and banana sandwiches while sitting on the toilet. It's never going to be me. He had a, a you know an in-house chef, and she said that like- It's literally all he- that that he would like wake her up, like call her at two thirty in the morning, and be like, "Hey, I need a peanut butter banana sandwich." Yeah. And she'd go, "Okay." And she was like, "The first one she made, she was like, I don't know what he's talking about.' Yeah, but let me try to do it." And she'd fry the bananas. Oh, do you think he ever had fluff, or was there no fluff yet? You ever had a peanut butter and fluff sandwich? I've had peanut butter and fluff. Yeah, I've not had peanut butter banana fluff. Do you like bananas? Yeah, I like bananas. Okay, I think you'd like a peanut butter right. banana. And I can I can eat them all in one bite. Literally, <laughs> just like Elvis. Yeah, yeah, just bring the whole thing down. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just, he's not my favorite. And I don't think that I'm alone. Again, this is an opinion. I don't think I'm alone in not loving the later Elvis. Earlier Elvis was more my speed. Just like I love early Ulysses S. Grant. I don't love late Ulysses S. Grant that's on whatever bill he's on. I never remember. You find him more attractive as a younger man. Civil yeah, War. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Same yeah. with Elvis. Elvis didn't fight in the Civil War. It doesn't matter. I'm oh, just okay. talking about the ages. Oh, my bad. My bad. Okay. I, I lost track for a second. Caught in a trap. But then, like, the last, like, his last performance. Yeah. He's sitting there at a piano. Oh, my God. He's got just, just I mean. Drenched. Dr just beads and beads of sweat. It looks like he's just swam in a pool. Yes. And he hasn't. Just dripping down his face. He's got a cup on top of the piano. Filled it's, with straight whiskey. No, it's a soda cup. It's He liked soda. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> of course he liked soda. Yeah. It's, with whiskey in it? I mean, look. 
and pills. I would imagine there was whiskey and pills in the yeah. soda. But the fact that he needed a sugary drink yeah. is so it's yeah. so great. He was he had a sweet tooth, apparently. He a, did have a sweet tooth. With peanut butter banana sandwich. But he's performing this song at the piano, and you're like, he still's yeah. got it. Like, who still has it? You see these rock stars get, like, kind of over the hill and fat, and they're, they hmm. don't have it anymore. But I feel like he had it, but then probably collapsed off stage. Fine, he still had it. I didn't it. buy tickets to off stage. I know. I'm yeah. just you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. How about tickets to the show? And he I was mean, still putting on a show. I feel like um, Aerosmith, like I feel like they were able to do it still real messed up for way longer than they should have. Yes. Steven Tyler was like, that. Like, that's... But I'm telling you, there's something... I don't... Was it pills with Aerosmith, though? I don't think no, so. No, it was a good amount of cocaine. Yeah. And also, Aerosmith's not Elvis. Aerosmith's not Okay, Michael. I understand. I'm just saying that there you are people You gotta get up that, to these icons. Okay. I just, I'm sorry. Can't you love the Elvises that you want? You can think that later Elvis is the goat, and I don't. No. Why is that your theme of the day? I just want us to be able to live in harmony with different opinions. No. You just said, no. Only I won't your opinion. have it. Only your I opinion. I won't have it. <laughs> <laughs> only your opinion is the right opinion. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, yeah, it's not fun. Okay. It's not fun to be like, well, I guess we'll agree to disagree. All right. I mean, he was still the king, but like, kind of like a. Royals, Man. I mean, historically, what would they do? They gained a lot of weight to show. Like Henry the Eighth was no looker. Yeah, and he was, he was, and he was. Henry the Eighth was so appealing to women. No, he didn't. He have a million wives. I went to go see that show. Yes, six. The show six. He had six wives. That's what I mean. He beheaded one. He beheaded who are most. You to, who are you to behead anyone? You look like a like a like a. Can you the, imagine having multiple ex wives beheaded, and then you're like, but I can still get another wife. Yeah, but that was because he's lit. He's not lit. His position is lit. His face ain't lit. And whatever's going down below must have. Oh, oh yeah. What do you think it looked like down there? Yeah. Yeah. Pinky dick. I don't think Henry VIII was packing. No, he might have had a micro. I bet he did it. I bet you think it was inverted. Oh no, even I, worse. I bet it was because he was very overweight and also like, why would you do that stuff? Like, there's no way Napoleon was packing. Uh, Couldn't no, have been it's Napoleon complex. But that was just because he was when short. Napoleon complex is about short, yeah, not little right. penis. But wait a minute. He would hate to hear that. Wait, did King, did, did King Henry, did he, was he attractive before he gained weight? Like when we look at old portraits of him? I'm not looking. I mean, that's really old. I don't, I don't know. know. You know stuff, I feel. You not, know. not like the aesthetic. Okay. Yeah. We'll look him up after. But I feel like, yeah, like historically people that have exercised power in that way. Yeah. They've got to be. They can let themselves go because they're powerful. And they, But they got to have micro penises too. Do you think Elvis had a micro penis? No, because he he was, I mean, he let himself go. I meant exercise power in such a hideous way. Okay. Elvis, right. Elvis. He hurt himself, not others. Right. I mean, big deal. He shot a TV. Yeah. He it was, was his TV. He was jealous. It was his TV. I mean, the gun was right there. Why not? He was feeling. Sorry for having feelings. A lot of feelings. Yeah. That happens. But I mean more like the Henry VIII. Okay. Napoleon. Right. Guys like that who had the, the this, this, thirst and, and and that could never be quenched that they wanted to conquer everything they must have had micro penis right i think napoleon definitely yeah and it's like no one really knew like did they know like whoa because i i doubt they were like talking about that then micro like, penis did, well did they know that like everyone had like a different size like were people i feel like people were very demure very mindful and didn't always like were they changing in front of each other and could see the different sizes I think there were a lot of lady in the streets of freaking the bed. Okay. I think a lot of that was going on. Okay, so then they were sharing secrets. As a matter of fact, I think there was a whole thing about like Napoleon who, and it screwed him up, that he had this love of his life. Yeah. And then he went and, uh, uh, you know, went on his, his missions, yeah. you know? And he was the leader of the, he brought the troops where he was bringing them. Yeah. And while he was away, his wife was getting it in. <gasps> Is that what it sounded like? Yeah. Yeah. And. Sounds like he was doing a great job. Yep. And while he while while he was away, yep. the French newspapers said it. We're making cartoons about it. Oh, that's messed up. He fucked your girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they were saying. But they said in France. In French. In French. I don't know how to say that in French. We have to look. Parlez vous. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. But that's what they were saying. They were had all these cartoons. I watched that Napoleon movie. It was great. I know you told me. Yeah. Do you know that all I remember about Napoleon was seeing Napoleon and Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? I mean, I think about it all the time. I mean, the tel the telephone booth. He just took them all around. When he went to, I mean, and, and the whole, it's a historical joke. The whole joke about him going to Waterloo 
Yeah. Because Waterloo is, of course, you know, where Napoleon, but the water park is called Waterloo. Yeah. And so he, he loved it. He loved He loved did, the water slide. Who doesn't love water slides? And then Napoleon's bowling. Yeah. Hey, pal, you got to pay. Yeah. Pay? I am. Yeah, <laughs> no. Pay? Then yeah. Genghis Khan is yes, ripping it up through the, through the sporting goods store. It was so fun, all the historical figures together. Yeah. It was like such a great movie. They, they, don't, they don't make them like that no more. No, San Dimas High School Football Rules. San Dimas. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You love it as much as I do. I love it. And then, what was it, like, uh, Ted's stepmom? Oh, it was so hot. Was so hot. Was so hot. And was like, she was like flirting with Bill and Ted, and then she'd go, like, bang Ted's dad. Yes, who was not very good looking. Nobody. Real nerdy. Yeah, he had money, right? Money. Right. Right. You know, but that wasn't written in a French newspaper. Oh, they and they and, and it fucked him up, dude. It's so messed up. It's so messed up. But I love it. That's a great story. That is the T. It's so. It is the T. But that, but he got so angry. Yeah, I would get angry too if furious. I left and then my man. He was and he went back in the house. He was all pissed. Well, like you, okay, now you you feel like you were there. You weren't there. I saw him in the movie. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's furious. I saw him. He's really? It was Joaquin angry. Phoenix. Oh, was it? Yeah. Did he like? Did he hurt the wife? I think he might have. Did he behead her? No, he will. No, he didn't behead her. He wasn't a big like. Beheader. No, there was a lot of beheadings going on as Napoleon rose to power. Interesting. That was like coming uh, after the French Revolution, the Reign of Terror. Mm. You see, you really listened in history class, didn't you? I learned it later. Okay. I didn't. I really didn't learn okay. it in history class yeah. at all, and then I learned it later. You know, I was the ninth grade social studies scholar of the year, and you I were? don't remember one thing. Like I, I'm so bad at my historical stuff. Like, I don't remember anything. I mean, for one thing, you call it historical stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but you were the scholar of the year? Yeah, I had a great Man. teacher. Like, he was a great teacher. My mom always says this when she listens to Nicole versus the Streets, which yeah. is basically, are you smarter than a fifth grader? And I'm not. And she gets so mad at me because she was like, you were so good. But I had a teacher that made it interesting. So in that year, I was devoted and interested and studying. And then I lost it all. It but just... then you also found boys and partying. Correct. And then that was That over. was ninth grade, you said, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, of course. Tenth mm -hmm. grade is where it all went to hell. Your interests waned. They did. <laughs> Not so historical no yeah. more. I wonder if your mom, like in ninth grade. She was so proud. And she was like, oh, she beat the cycle. Because mm. your mom's a little wild too, right? She was. Sure. Back in the day. Back, back in, in day. her day. Maybe she was thinking, oh, Nicole's not going to be like wild like me. She, so I surpassed her. Oh, yeah. And then some. I mean, I don't think anybody can live up to the standard that you set. <sighs> My husband, you were living that Elvis life. Yeah. Except somehow maintaining a healthy and I never got that fat. You know, I maybe uh, gained a couple LBs here and there. You were pregnant. Yeah, I got what pregnant. What can you do? There you go. What Happens. Can... That's natural. Just fell in. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, just fell in. Uh, Meanwhile, you're sitting there with a syringe and a styrofoam cup. <laughs> <laughs> you don't forget anything, <laughs> do you? Steel trap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I forgot everything I learned in ninth grade. All that historical stuff, gone. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It is. But that was a yeah. Do, do you so, based on that, do you think that there's gonna be? When do you think you're in the clear with your daughter? I'm never gonna be in the clear. I think she's gonna be exactly like me. You do? She already speaks to me. With like, attitude? Yeah. And she's very charismatic. Very charismatic, and she's has an attitude like me. I love that. She's. You deserve yeah. that. I do. Yes. Yeah, she's. I mean, she's a doll, but she can be a, a real bitch. <laughs> She strikes me as the type that like, smart, smart ass, real. Like, oh sure, mom. But like, if sure, you, pal. If you're on her good side, oh, she loves, she loves you. I mean, wrapped around her finger. You're her favorite. Uh, she's my favorite. Oh. But I can also see that if I were on her bad side, I'd be like, oh, you yeah. are a terror. That, that, that words hurt. Why would you say that? Yeah. But I'm not on her bad side, so it doesn't deep. bother me at all. Yeah. Matt often looks at me and he's like, tell me to sit down. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Kill her. Does she get under his skin? Oh, she's a she's it. I'm I'm screwed. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm not gonna beat the cycle. So maybe her kid will. <laughs> You've already given up. The towel's thrown in. It's only ten. <laughs> yeah, maybe her kid will do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I've gotten very proficient at making sure. You know what selling is? Yeah. Uh, not like selling a product. Okay. Okay. Is, is that like it's another slang? It, no, it's another one of my wrestling terms. Okay. What is it? Selling is when you uh uh uh. uh it's a public showing of a reaction. So, like, like in wrestling, you're selling it. Hit you. Yeah. If I go, like, oh, I'm selling, selling it. Got right, it, got right, it. Right? Yes, yeah. But it applies to real life. Yeah. Because if somebody is like, if somebody's at a haunted house, right? Yeah. And they try to scare you. Yeah. Whether you're scared or not, no sell. Just don't sell it. 
right? And that means you're just not reacting to it. Got it. You've gotten good at that when your kids say something. So I'm so yeah. proficient at it because I know how kids work that the minute they see, because they're probably like me, where like the minute they see like, oh, that bothers him. Oh, I'm going to remember that. You know, I can't. It is hard not to laugh. I have this necklace that a friend of mine made like in the pandemic and it's like all colorful. It looks like a, like a Taylor Swift friendship bracelet, oh. and, but it says fuck off. Mm -hmm. And I left it on the counter oh. and I heard Keegan go, fuck off. And I was like, oh, what? And I was like, are you, what did you just say? He goes, fuck off. And I was like, and I walked in like I was going to like grab him and he was like, see, it says fuck off. <laughs> so, I mean, like, you know, it's hard then I just laugh. <laughs> My son knows all the words now. All the words. Right? So I've, yeah. I've, I, it was jarring the first time he dropped that F-bomb. Oh, that's so good, though. I was like, whoa. Yeah, when they say it right. Like, we're in a different place. What the fuck? You're like, I mean. That's what he said. He said, <laughs> and the other, he said, so I said, you can't say that in front of your sister. I just say you, you can't can say, say that. that. You can say that in front of me only. Okay. That's what I say for all this stuff. I just say not at school. I say. <laughs> <laughs> Those squares wouldn't understand. <laughs> I go, don't say it in front of your sister. Yeah. Don't say it in front of your mom. Don't say it at your friend's house. Yeah, don't say it at school. Okay. If you need to say it, me and you, bud. Okay. Just me and you. That's you say fair. It to me. Say whatever you want to me. We'll talk about it. Okay. And he goes, okay. And the other day we're in the car and he's like, dad, can I say a bad word? Because he always says like, and yeah. sometimes it's like hate. Not, not that stinks. bad. Stinks. Right. He, and like, like if his sister's in the car, he goes, dad, can I say a bad word? I go, what does it start with? He goes, W. I go, yeah, that's fine. He goes, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you remember this? Well, not the same thing. That's amazing. But we were going through like, I don't know. I heard the kids like saying all the, the swear words and I was like, okay, no more. And I, you said them all. There is no more. And Parker was like, there's one more. And I was like, no, there's not. You said them all. Mm -hmm. She was like, it starts with a P. And I was like, what? I just couldn't think of any word. And I was like, just say it. And she was like, pussy. <laughs> I was like, Fuck. What? Then I said, we don't say that ever. Never, never. Yeah. We have to stop this game right yeah, now. Yeah, it's a bad game. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, terrible. Yeah. Yeah. We're screwed. Well, I'm screwed. I think you'll have to be I'll be fine. all right. You'll be good. You're handling things really well. Yeah. Proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't sell anything. Yeah, I do. Yeah. The other day he hit me with a what the shit. Oh. What the shit? I like it because it's like a little different. Right. And you don't really hear it that often. Changing it up a little. Right, right. Yeah. No, no. It's good. <laughs> oh, it's good. Shit. Have things cooled down with your mashup boys and me? Mm -mm. No. I think you made them angry. Did I? No, I think they were like, like thinking that, you know, you were making a show of them saying something and it didn't matter whether you were making the jokes in front of the Secret Service or your boys were. It was like you guys were all acting like this is a big joke that the Secret Service are here. Okay, okay. So we put posted the clip on yes. Instagram and everything and shared it. You can go check it out. Yeah, you can check it out. Nicole was on Jim and Sam. Mm -hmm. She was explaining that they said I was lying. Well, because you said that you were treated a little bit aggressively by the I Secret wasn't Service. lying. Okay. And then they were like, well, he was joking around. Turning this into a joke. Yeah. And by the way, well, you guys all did not maybe not you specifically, but you were lumped into a crew because you're a little. No, 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 no. You're in the group. Oh, I'm in the group. You're one of the people I mean, making the jokes. I was, but again, I told you in the clip that it wasn't directed towards them. I was more lipping it as I was getting frisked. Not enough. And the idea now that these narcs, oh, they're narcs, are going like you shouldn't be making like pearl clutching. I was. It's not. I'm the narc then. No, 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 no. No, because no, no. I said to them, I heard, I, I heard they, they shouldn't were... be making jokes. Okay. Oh, really? It's a horrible impression. Just like I did a horrible impression of you earlier. That wasn't you. Oh, okay. Who was that? One uh, of the mashups? Ryan. I was wrong. Okay. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay. Yeah, that's who. And it sounded like him, right? I mean, not completely. Kind of, though. No. I you mean, get the essence. He doesn't really do this. <laughs> no? I don't know who does. But... Oh, okay. I don't okay. know. I don't know. No, I think it's, I think, I think, I think it's, uh, there's, Multiple things going on. Number one, I didn't lie about anything. Okay. So if you if you accuse me about lying, I'm gonna burn your house down. Oh, That's I'm, where I come from. But I didn't come and say they said you're a liar. I never came and said that. That's what you deduced. You literally said the phrase. They said you're a liar. No, I did I in the clip. Okay, no, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. No, you no, don't have to no, no, because I'm tired of these accusations. I'm tired of, of yeah. Well, I feel like you're trying to start something. No, there's First, the Kendrick no, 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 Lamar no, no, stuff. No, no, I'm not the one trying to start it. You are. This is what you said. This is horseshit. <laughs> 
So did you talk about getting frisked yesterday? Yeah. Okay, you talked about the Secret Service being like a little intense. That's you. The guys on the playing the hits on the yeah. morning mashup, yeah. Stan and Ryan said yeah. that they were behind you, and that didn't happen at all. Oh, it's really? Actually was... called you a liar. Oh, oh cool. no, I did. Oh, okay, they, oh. And well, I, I never said well, that. Well, he never said I added that. I added that, because I mean, that But you does... just said you didn't add it. Well, I did, because they that means you're lying. If it didn't happen at all, it's a lie. They said you're a liar is what I, you said. I categorize it. They didn't say it. I said it. But they did say that what happened was like you were making jokes. I wasn't. And that's why you were treated I wasn't. aggressively. I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't. Then we all were. So this idea. Are we like in, the, in like the Jets and the Sharks? Are we like in West Side Story they right now? They want it. No, they don't. <laughs> no. If they want it. Are we the I Bloods had, and the I, didn't any, I had no problems. Are we gangs now? But who goes like this? Who goes like this, right? You tell a story. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam said this. And instead of being like, oh, haha, that's a good story, they go, he's lying. That didn't happen. That, and even if it did, he was joking these too much. Impressions what are is that? Horrific. What is that energy? They didn't say it like that. These they are the people you think are funsters in the morning? They are funsters, and I never there's used that nothing, word either. There's nothing fun about what they how they reacted. I, you know how they reacted? They like they were they that there was a reason that you, that you got frisked a little more aggressively than the rest of us. No, they reacted. With bitterness and contempt. Okay. okay, well, maybe they're sick. And jealousy. Maybe they're sick of getting attacked by, by the Bloods and we're the Crips. They started. No, you started with Kendrick and saying that we didn't know what we were talking about. You don't. <laughs> First Kendrick, now the Secret Service. There's and a I didn't bring up Kendrick until you said that they said I was a liar. I know. That was a deflection, though. You were deflecting. I do that. It's do. a weave. I it weave. Is. You, oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's okay. called the weave. Oh, Donald. <laughs> I don't know if you know about that, but I weave. That you know? was very special. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can't we all just get along? Oh, I, the war I was started? getting along. Okay. I was getting along. I, but they said I didn't tell the truth. Okay. I want to be Switzerland. Is that this, the country? You're not Switzerland. Why? Who because am I? you're full of baloney, quite frankly. Am I the... Am I like the wife, Napoleon's wife, who's like no, cheating you're, on him? No, you're Henry VIII's wife, and oh, you know what's going to happen next. I'm getting beheaded. Yeah. And then, but I mean, just. I'm sorry. The energy. Okay. The energy of telling someone, it doesn't bother you. The energy of telling someone a story, no, right? No. And them going like, he shouldn't have done that. I have way other like, things. Like, okay, okay, okay. First of all, you don't have way other I things. Do. The shit that you're bothered about, you pointed out the actor in the Menendez show not using a fake penis I on Instagram. That was awesome. I'm not bothered Seven by that. times I on the drive home. You I, have nothing going on. I wasn't bothered by that. I was excited by that. And I said, go you, <laughs> actually. And what episode is it? <laughs> I'm going to watch it right now. <laughs> Come on. Let's all have love. I try to. I lead with love. All you need is love. That's all I need, and okay. I don't get any back. Okay. All right. I'll try to make more love happen. People are insecure about our relationship. Maybe. And it's your people you do a show with. I think everything's fine with Rich Davis. Okay. Do you think anything's wrong? Do you don't think Troy and Travis maybe have an issue? Nope. Because they were- that They love you. They do. I love them. And they treat you so well, don't they? Yeah. I don't get treated don't, that see, way. See, look at how imagine, you're manipulating me right now. But imagine how difficult it would be if I was like, hey, Troy and Travis- they think you're a fucking liar. I didn't say that. And, and I did not. And imagine that. that. Imagine this. If I said, if I said, hey, remember that story you told me? Troy and Travis think you deserve everything no. you've got. First of all, you're acting like I came with that kind of disgusting they energy. They did. Not you. They did. Your co-host. Mine was more jokey. I didn't and think that shit is a was... joke at all. Okay. I, a little bit of respect is, is due to me. Would you like a new handwritten apology? And with, with I a, still a quill, owed the last one. A quill and some ink. The only way one, Napoleon only, would have done it? Only one person I trust in that studio. Ben? Yeah. <laughs> I trust Ben. None of the rest of them. Okay. You included. Okay. You don't trust me. I think there's shit talking going on. No. Here. Yes, I do. We talk shit about each other, not about you. That was the only time we talked shit about you. It doesn't feel good. And it wasn't really talking shit. It was mad shit. Why are you so mad? Furious. You're so angry. You know? I don't make problems. Okay. Just keep my name. Out, out your up. fucking mouth. Okay. That's all. I'm sorry, Will. That's the message. I'm sorry. Now, I would threaten physicality like Will Smith right. did. I just don't know how well I would fare. Yeah, I don't. You got some big people in that studio. Pretty sure Stan could take you. I think he could take I, any of us down with his palm. I think Stan could take me. He sometimes pats me on the chest to say hello. Hard. And it's a lot of strength in that guy. Yeah. Is and it, he's got a lot of medallions, like a lot of jewelry that could yeah. like crash into you and feel like a weight. Physically, I'm no match. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. For right. the record. But let's just maybe try to move on.
Okay. Can you forgive but not forget? I'll exist. That's all. Okay. I'll just always know. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you think I forgave, I forgave. Okay. That's what I think. I choose that. That's my opinion. Who knows? Who knows? (laughs) I'll lead with love like I always do. But you know why? You know, because you know what happens? What? Here's what I think happens. What I can't tolerate. I cannot tolerate this. What is that? When people mistake Mm. my... Kindness or weakness? Yep. I'm surprised you knew where I was going with that. I mean, we are here. Sympatico. Mm Mm-hmm. I like to have a good time. Okay. If you don't want to have a good time, you think it's because of my weakness? I feel like Ain't I'm getting scolded by my father who's like, listen, we're kind of ending the conversation about how I was a bad girl. <laughs> That's right. what it feels like. It's right like now. the energy's boiled down. Okay. I just want you to still know. Don't do it again. You're very, very bad. You're very, very bad girl. <laughs> yeah. You're grounded for a week, but I hope you learned a lesson. <laughs> that is that is a parental <laughs> tactic where it's like, right? it can... it's like, okay, it's calm down. Right. However, I'm not letting go of the fact right. you are extremely bad. <laughs> you are so, you're a <laughs> naughty this yeah. feels worse. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> All good. Are you guys satisfied? Do you think they're leaving now? Satiated. Satiated. Yeah. I think I am. They needed satisfaction. They're now satiated. We gave it to them. We gave it to them. Don't forget to follow along. Uh, follow us on YouTube to get the whole video experience. Yes. Follow us on every audio platform. Download, download, download. Download, download, download. Uh, Spotify, Sirius, Apple. Um, and we'll see you again uh, real soon. For another satisfying podcast. Can't wait.